Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Well, in this video I'm going to show you a little texturing trick, okay? So for your 3D model, what we're going to do is we're going to take a circle or a texture, something like a mandala that looks uh, something like uh, this right here, and we're going to turn that into a rectangular texture so you can apply that to any of your models, okay? So here we go. Okay guys, well we're in um, Photoshop CC 2017 and in front of me I have a beautiful mandala, all right? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna take the texture of the mandala, I want to change this circular shape into a rectangular one, and I want to use that texture on a 3D model, okay? So how do I get this round shape into a rectangular texture? Well, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into our quick selection tool, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this white area, select this white area, this white area right here, and this one here, I'm gonna hit this button to check whether everything is okay. Not quite. I need to select this one as well. There you go, okay? So what I do next is double click on this layer. I'm gonna go and hit okay. And now um, I can go up to edit and clear, which will give me a PNG image, okay? So the transparency, I got rid of the white corners, all right? So now, before I move forward, I need to go up to select and deselect to get rid of those marching ants. And now it's time for me to change this uh, into a rectangular pattern, right? So I'm gonna go up to uh, filter, I'm gonna go to uh, distort, and then I'm gonna go into polar coordinates. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna change a polar to a rectangular, okay? So I'm just gonna hit okay, and there you have it. That's all there's to it. And the cool thing about these is that they're tileable. So I'll show you. I'll uh, just make, uh, make a selection right here. I'll go to edit and copy, file new. And we'll double the width here. So that's uh, 3840. Hit create, edit and paste. And there we go. And I'm gonna move this one to one side right here. And as you can see, if I make a copy and I move it over, it's a perfect fit. So um, that's a quick way to create a tileable texture for your 3D model uh, based on a mandala. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short little video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.